Hi guys, this is Sarah with Raven's Crochet. Welcome back to the channel. And my furry feline Raven is here with me on the couch. She was up here and she scooted down to cuddle up with me just for a minute. But um, she's looking for a place to go because I have yawned everywhere. I got a box sent to me today through UPS. They delivered it right to my door. I can see part of the parking lot right outside my living room window here. And I saw UPS pull up. I'm like, UPS is here. And I am texting my friend who sent me the box. And um, it was 28 pounds. She sent me a lot. So I have a lot to show you guys. Um, I'm in better spirits today. Thank you so much for everyone who was praying for me leaving comments, watching my videos, giving me likes. Anything like that helps my channel out. It help, helps me. It helps lift my spirits up. Um, like, I love this community so much. I know in my last video I did mention that I generally don't like people, but I do like you people. I do like this community. Like, this is like the nicest community I've ever been a part of. And that's another p big part of the reason why I wanted to be involved with this community and, and a part of it so that I could help um, help others learn what I was able to learn and give back. Um, it makes me feel good to give back. Um, it, it's better, it makes you better as a whole, giving back. And I enjoy it so much. And I really enjoy communicating with you guys. Um, I know I need to get back on my emails. Um, as you know, it's been really hard for me this past week, um, and I'm still teary-eyed, and the funeral is not until Saturday the 15th, excuse me, so I'm trying to mentally prepare myself for the funeral, um, giving this extra week will help me do that, and, um, Hopefully I won't tear up as much, but I got a huge, huge pick me up from my, from from my friend M. Thank you so much, M, for sending me this box. And we personally personally went through it together because it was it would have been way too long for a video here. So this is going to be kind of a long video, but it's going to be like the Cliff Notes version. It won't be too long. Um, so I opened up the box and she sent me not just yarn related things. Um, but she sent me some other things as well. This shirt is one of them. It's a nice suede house shirt. It's nice enough. I could wear it out. I'm wearing it with a pair of black leggings right now and it's super comfy. It goes down just below my bottom and it's got one of those front pockets on it and it's super, super comfy and the collar is really pretty. And, uh, okay. So yarn, the first yarn I saw was this. It's like Ogo yarn is great to work with if you want to make blankets, hats, scarves, shawls, anything kind of like chunky, but not like overly so. Like if you like chunky yarns, um, but you're not really all that cool with a four weight yarn, this is perfect for you. Um, I have mentioned previously in one of my other videos that I tried this Ogo yarn on my knitting loom and it did not do well. I kept dropping like two or three stitches every single row. I was using the, the jewel tone striped yarn that I bought from Red Heart and then I also bought from Red Heart the forest camouflage striped colors and it's pretty much classified as a four weight yarn as it says here but this four weight yarn is on the chunky side big time. So if you're like me and you're wanting to experiment with um, different weights of yarn on your knitty loom or your centro loom, whatever kind of loom that you have, um, don't be surprised if you if you drop stitches because I got about seven, six or seven rows in, and I tried it three times. I, I completely took all the yarn back off my needles and started all over again with the waist yarn and all that stuff, getting it set up for this. Um, not this particular color, but um, my experience with the Ogo striped colored yarn that I bought. I'm not going to try this on my knitting loom, and I don't suggest you do that either. But this is great if you want to make, um, you know, chunky projects. This is a gorgeous colorway, and it's actually kind of hard to find nowadays. This colorway is called Fireberry, right there below the barcode. Fireberry. It's very much like a neon magenta fuchsia color. 
extremely gorgeous like boysenberry bright cranberry um, fuchsia pretty much this one's called fireberry it's 502 yards and it's 459 meters 9.9 .9 ounces 280 grams that's a lot of good yardage and um, my friend um, she said this is on sale at Joann's for like five bucks four ninety nine um, around Black Friday so she was able to snag a couple of these up one for her one for me thank you M so that was the first thing I saw and then I saw this one inside she had two vacuum sealed bags full of yarn so I have a lot of yarn to show you guys like I'm not kidding so get you your favorite drink get you a malt beverage or beer or some hot chocolate whatever you want to sip on tea or coffee and because you're going to be here for a minute watching me with yarn <laughs> Um, this one is Premier Basics. This colorway is called Ember. Crinkle alert. Sorry. Crinkle alert. Hi, Ashley. Get out your crinkle alert pillow if you have one. I need to make one now. Okay, so this is for my temperature blanket. And once I have my second week's worth of temperatures, just one high and one low, I'm going to do four rows of each color so my blanket is, is taller by the time it's done. Um, and once I make progress with that, I'll come back and show you guys that. But that's for the temperature blanket. <clears throat> and we'll just start with what's on top here. She sent me a lot of Premier. I'm going to show you all three of these at the same time because it's the same yarn, just in three different colorways. This is Premier Chamonique. Chem <clears throat> I, for, I forgot how to pronounce that. She just taught me how to pronounce it. She asked Alexa. And I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to get your thing to search for anything. So I'll give you a second to fix that. Unless you want to search um, and ask her how to pronounce that word. Because I just forgot. I can't remember. She had to save my life sometimes. But this colorway is called... Heirloom Rose, and this one is called Sand, and this one is called Petal, so, and, and this is a two weight yarn, I believe, it's 80% acrylic, 10% mohair, 10% polyamide, it's very, very soft, what do they classify this yarn as, okay, yeah, this is a two weight yarn, here's some of the specs, The yardage, 380 yards, 348 meters, 3 ounce skeins, 85 grams each. Again, it's 80 ac acrylic, 10 mohair, 10 polyamide. Sand, petal, heirloom rose. And that's like, like a burgundy color. It's like an orchard burgundy color. It's really gorgeous. I think this would make gorgeous striped blankets hat and scarf sets. I'm going to, this is a two weight yarn. So two weights and three weight yarns I find work best on the knitting loom. I'm going to do a striped hat and scarf set. Once I have that finished up, I will show you guys that of course. Um, Raven baby. You okay. She's jumping up and down on her kitty tree. So those will make like a great, like little lovey and these colors I can use three, three skeins for lovey, three skeins for hat and scarf set and I can use three skeins for a small baby blanket. I think that would be awesome. I can get all I can get three projects done with these three colors, nine skeins. That's thank you so much, M. Like you rock. Like this is a, such a great pick me up. Um speaking of baby, she sent me some O Baby Organic Cotton. This is Lion Brand. And a star is born O Baby Organic 100 percent organic cotton six little bitty skeins so adorable there's over 8,000 free patterns on linebrand.com I'll go ahead and leave that link in the description box below uh, these are 1.75 ounces 50 grams 180 yards 165 meters each they are classified as a number two weight I'm not sure if you guys can see that clearly through the packaging. 
This is like, like a neon baby blue. Very, very gorgeous color. And this will go great for making loveys. And um, this is, I'll make a lovey with, with this. Two skeins I think would make a good size lovey. I'll use two skeins for several little baby washcloths. And then the other two skeins, maybe maybe um, a baby changing mat. I'll double it up and make with some white cotton yarn and make a baby changing mat. Lots of ideas you can use with um, organic baby cotton. Baby changing mats are awesome. Make like little face towels for them. You can make baby bibs. Um, you can make, like I said, the lovey, or even if you wanted to make a cotton blanket, or even like a play mat for them to play on in the summertime. Just get a whole bunch of colors. That's not a bad idea. I could do that with all that, uh, all that cotton yarn that Amy sent me from from Hobie. Four packets of yarn, in like six different, like five different colors. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just know. I know. I know what to do with all that yarn. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a play mat, and and some baby cloths. She sent me a whole bunch, y'all. Like I'm not kidding. There's a whole bunch. She sent me Wims Merino from Furls. This is a yarn from Furls um, Crochet Hooks website, furlsgood.com. She sent me three colors of the, uh, in each skein, or three skeins in each color. This colorway is called Wims Merino Pink. Pink. And this one is Wims Merino Spearmint. This would make a great Easter project for a blanket, baby blanket. Um, loveys. This is so soft. This is a three weight yarn. Calls for a four to a 5.5 millimeter hook. It's 50% superwash merino wool and 50% nylon. That's why it's so soft because it's nylon. And even the superwash merino wool is so much softer than your basic regular wool because it was processed much further. Regular wool has these like jagged little hairs. That's why wool felts up so much. And when it when it um when it's in heat, and when it's agitated, those little jagged fibers catch together, and they just they have no choice but to mesh because they have they can't separate. But the way it's processed, um, super um, wash merino, super washing gets rid of all those little jagged fibers and hairs. So it doesn't felt and stick together, and it's much easier to frog. If you if you want to practice using this yarn to make a project, this is easy to frog. And I love the little lamb on the ball band. That is so cool. And a lot of my favorite ball bands, if they have really unique photos on them or something, or if it was one of my favorite yarns I've ever used, or if, if I want to save it as a memoir from a particular project that was gifted to somebody. Or whatever these make these ball bands make really great uh, bookmarks and I collect bookmarks too I don't read as much as I used to but I love saving ball bands and laminating them with um, and using them for book bookmarks and that feels really really nice that's super washed merino wool and nylon so I'm excited to work with this thank you so much M. oh my goodness thank you she sent me three bags of this yarn if I knew how to pop up a picture right here I would but um, in one of my past videos I made a triangular shawl prayer shawl for my sister Sophia and I used three skeins of this yarn here and just sent me nine skeins this is from Michaels this is from a Michaels haul I was able to do I was only able to do two Michaels hauls last year because it's like six, seven miles away and I don't have a car, so it's really hard to get a ride sometime. And and it's too expensive uh, to get a Lyft or an Uber, but um, I try to get a ride from a friend when I can. Um, I think next time my friend Andy comes by and I have the money, I'll have him drop me off at Michael's. Who knows? Um, I usually don't like going there without a budget, a big budget. So this is Craft Smart Value Yarn. Jack Jack wired Jackard Jackard yarn. However you pronounce it, I, I I know how to pronounce it. I just can never remember how to pronounce it when it's time to. I don't know. It's Craftsmart Value Jacquard. 
and the colorway is called Rainbow. Obviously, the colorway um, got my attention, but when I worked it up, it was gorgeous. And since I have a knitting loom now, and this yarn is so easy to work with, I will get that pattern. I will be making a hat and scarf set with these three skeins on my knitting loom. And um, I'll, I will do a video on that too. Um, probably with... Um, I'm going to show you guys um, how I do a hat and scarf set using this yarn. Because that way when I do a color change, you guys can see how I do that too. Um, with this one, I don't have to do a color change. But I can, of course, do a video with this one as well. I can make... Um, I can make... A scarf with this one and I can just chit chat about yarn and chit chat about life and funny stuff and find some interesting things to talk about while I'm cranking out a scarf with this because that way you guys will be able to see this pattern the way the pattern works up like it does in the photo and then when I make the hat I'll do the color changing with with the Premier yarn. I'll make the hat with this, and um, I pretty much do a hundred rows and just do ten rows of each color. Or you could do seven and five, how, whatever you could. There's like lots of combinations. As long as you don't go over your your uh, amount of rows that you need, you have a, you have um, like a pattern you're following. You don't want to go past a hundred rows. Because otherwise your hat's going to have a brim. If you if you don't want your hat to have a brim. If you want your hat to have a brim, go 130 rows. Just That's a whole other thing. I can give you all more details about that in another video. Okay, I, I got more yarn coming. Look what else she sent me. My first time ever having this yarn. Spun Colors from Premier. This is 419 yard um, cakes. 384 meters, 7 ounces, 200 grams each. Look at that. I'm so glad you guys can see the orientation. Great. Ah, I don't... Yay. 65% uh, acrylic, 35% superwash merino. Um, you still want to hand wash this, and I can put it in my spin drying tub. It just All it does is wring out the moisture. And this is a four weight yarn. I think it's, it's, it's a roving style, but it doesn't have a tight twist. But it's definitely rubbing style. And oh, it's so gorgeous. If any of you guys, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with Glenda at Creative Grandma, she has actually done reviews on this. And she has crocheted up swatches with this. And she is in love with this. And yeah, it's this gorgeous yarn. And this is like one of my favorite colorways. Obviously, I love the purple. Thank you so much, Em. This colorway is called mauve. Oh my gosh, this colorway is called mauve. Between mauve, rose, dark orchard, all those different colorways that com yarn companies have for the color mauve, which is the dark road, the, the dark rose um, orchard from Ice Yarns. It's Saver, lot number 47189. I'm looking at it right now. So it's a dark rose orchard. And then Premier Basics is called Rose. And Red Heart with Love is called Cameo. It's pretty much the same color mauve. And the mauve color I'm talking about is this color. This is mauve. And there's a touch of mauve right there inside of this yarn. And they just happen to give it the colorway mauve. To me, this looks like grape mauve. I would call it like plum berry or I would I would name it mauve berry or I would name it grape juice something like that something grapey or plummy rainbow plum oh my goodness if you know what I think would be fun to do is get like a really fine fingering weight thread of like a creamy or a white sparkly yarn and work it in with this sparkly plum shawl Anybody? Ah! Sparkly plum shump cake. And she sent me three cakes. So I have like over 1,200 yards here I can make. I can make my sparkly plum shawl. That'd be, that'd be good for Christmas next year. <clears throat> okay. So. 
I see yarns that I really, really, really love. Like I almost with I can within minutes designate a project for that yarn. Like, okay, that's gonna be a sugar plum shawl. I don't know if I'm gonna work in sparkly yarn with it or not. I'm definitely gonna do a test swatch in a triangular pattern. So we'll see. Okay, look what else she sent me. Shut the front door and dead both that biatch. I'm in a much better mood, can't you tell? Um, this is um, from a mystery bag that she bought from Hobie. I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. Hobie. And two of these, um, well actually they're all four of these are Cotton King. Cotton Kings. Two of them are mauve lavender I will actually I would say like um like a dark orchard from the outside a dark orchard to mauve to a lavender and then it fades into white or like a creamy beige white like an off-white color these two together would be great for um, springtime shawls um, if I wanted to I could double them up make it thicker or I could do two separate shawls these would be really good springtime prayer shawls. This one from black to navy, deep, deep, deep dark navy to a dark tiger varsity orange to a light pumpkin color to a pale orange in the center. This would make a good jack-o'-lantern shawl for Halloween. And this one is one of my favorites. It is my favorite. It goes from black to deep, deep forest green. Towards the center, a light varsity green, and then it looks like it brightens up like a jewel tone emerald green in the center. This would be perfect for St. Patrick's Day or Christmas next year, it, or it could it would be great as a Christmas tree shawl. You could start from the top. Um, yeah, start at the you start at at the center, and start with the top your neckline or it would just be an upside down tree shawl on your back you could start um, with the center and start with the bottom point working it into a triangular shawl and that way the longer side the longer um, side working back and forth in a triangular fashion motion and the triangular just gets the triangle just gets bigger and bigger and bigger the, the, the more rows you do and you could stop at any in any point and the triangular um, shawl will be even and um, so you do your tip from the light from the green and then it goes darker with your longer rows so that way you actually have a Christmas tree you could hang it on the wall it would be a Christmas tree you could hang ornaments on it but if you were to wear it of course the point would hang down the brighter green would be at the bottom and then the black would be up like around your neckline and it would hang down you know down your neck um, so if you wanted to do something like that, or if I wanted to do something like that with this, I have to keep that in mind because what I could also do is I could start fr from the outside and, and work in the bottom point with the black. And then that way, when I have this around my neck, the neckline will be green and the green will hang around my neck and it'll just look like an inverted Christmas tree. Or I could make a rectangular shawl, but there are possibilities that are in most with these. What would you make? with a cotton, King's cotton cake. Um, I'm not real sure on the yardage of these, but I would say it's at least, I, I would say it's at least 700 yards, 700 plus yards. If you are familiar with cotton, with cotton King's yarns, please, um, leave a comment in the description, in the, in the, please leave a comment below, below the description box. Let me know, um, your experience with this yarn and if you've made anything or what you would suggest making with this yarn because these colors are gorgeous and I can't wait to work with these too this these would be great summertime projects to work on getting them prepped for Halloween too because even both of these two would be great for Halloween and I've got more yarn more yarn a whole bunch more yarn there's more yarn than this but she fit me one of these it reminds me of um it reminds me of Premier Puzzle Yarn. This is Universal Yarn Mayer. And this is a five bulky weight acrylic yarn. I'm going to make a small um, baby blanket or a big lovey with this. 
It's not one of my favorite colors. Otherwise, I would work it in with all the other bulky puzzle yarns that I got to make myself a blanket. Um, but I, I mean, I do love this color. It reminds me of a pearl, like a peachy, like a, like a princess peach, a princess pinky peach pearl you would find on the beach. You know, I do love this color. Working it in with a fingering white sparkly yarn would be even more gorgeous for a baby blanket. Um, but because of the color it is and as gorgeous as it is by itself, um, I don't want to add anything to this. I'm going to just work it up by itself in like a granny square fashion and I'm either going to make a lovey or a blanket. I'm not sure yet. Um, but this is made in Turkey and I think all the best yarns are come from Turkey. Machine wash cool, dry low, 100% acrylic. It has a Let's see, 7 ounces, 200 grams, 328 yards, 300 meters, bulky weight, which is a 5. It has gauge swatches for knit and crochet. I'll hold it up to the screen and you can read. So I think that is really cool that they have that on the ball band. So the gauge swatch for knit, 15 stitches by 20 rows equals a 4 inch swatch using a size 10 6 millimeter knitting needle. Crochet, 14 single crochets by 15 rows equals a 4 inch swatch using a J10 6 millimeter crochet hook. That's pretty cool. So I think it's always a good go-to. If your ball band doesn't say, if there is no ball band, if it was gifted to you or if thrift store bought, if you have yarn that you're not sure what hook size to use, whatever thickness the yarn is, like say for instance this is a five weight yarn, the ball band says to use a six millimeter, always go up one numbered hook size bigger than what your weight yarn says and you should be, um, you should be great. Smooth sailing. Um, a four weight yarn, use a five millimeter hook. That will give you the basic grounding starting point for making a gauge swatch. And then you can determine if you want to, of course, you can decrease a hook size down if you want to, or you can increase a hook size up. Completely up to you. And it completely is up to the yarn, the way it's spun, and the sharpness of your hook. For instance, the top point and the bottom point, because you don't want those to snag into your yarn. You don't want something sharp and working with a loosely twisted yarn. Um, this is a clover, by the way. This is one of the hooks that my friend just sent me. And it's not the only hook she sent me, but this is a clover. This is a 5.5 clover, and it was just kind of loose hanging out in the bag. Which is like, hey, surprise, you got a new hook. Yay! So, she sent me that. And there's like a whole bunch more stuff in the box. And I'm going to show you this yarn for last, because it is like... Mwah. She sent me four cakes, four skeins of this Lion Brain ice cream blend yarn. This is the Rainbow Blend yarn. I needed some um, some more skeins so I could use these for borders on rainbow blankets I wanted to make for all my sisters. I have one skein of each color. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Purple, I have... Um, I've got three skeins of that. I only have one orange, um, but then I've got also a second order and I placed last year. I got three pink, three yellow, three green, three blue, and I've got pretty much now four of each color, except I only have three purple and one orange, and now I have, I think, six of these in my arsenal, six or seven of the rainbow, so that will, I won't have each colored stripe in my sister's blanket. I might have to do like a really thin stripe of orange and thinner stripes of purple uh, with wider stripes of pink, yellow, green, and blue. I don't know. Um, or three of my sisters won't have orange in their blanket. I don't know. But they're all going to at least are going to at least have the pink, yellow, green, and blue and purple in the blankets. So even if they don't have orange in there, I'm completely fine with that. I think the orange striped yarn of this yarn alone is perfect and gorgeous for like pumpkins. I'm making like um like an like an orange sherbet 
shirt for the summertime or a pumpkin shawl for the fall. And um, see, there's, there's the ball band. Lion brand ice cream. It's a cotton blend, rainbow. And I'm sorry I'm not taking it out of the package. This yarn is a 3.5 ounce skein, 100 grams, 225 yards, 206 meters. It's a four worsted weight yarn, 47 acrylic, 53%. I'm sorry, 47% cotton, 53% acrylic, and Lion Brand again has over 8,000 free patterns. There, there's the information about the yarn. 47% cotton, 53% acrylic. Sorry, I got that wrong. So she sent me that so I could make my sister's blankets. She sent me a bag of little bonbons. They're not branded bonbons, but they remind me of the, of the little bonbon yarns. So cute. I'm going to take them out of the package and, and show you. These are so adorable. I think she said she bought these from Premiere. <clears throat> and I think they're still on Premiere's website. This is called Raiko Rumi. It's a DK weight. It says DK on the ball band. Sparkling silver and sparkling gold. These would be perfect for making Christmas tree ornaments. Um, adding some sparkly whimsical stitches into your projects. If you wanted to crochet a Christmas tree, you could use this to, um, you could like, um, you could, you could chain, just take your crochet hook and you can chain some garland for your Christmas tree. These are so cute. This, these are 10 grams, 50 meters. Uh, this one is called Party. They're both called Party. P-A-R-T-I-E. I'm trying to find a color name. It doesn't have a color name. The gold says 002. The silver says 001. 62% polyester, 38% nylon. It has a knitting gauge swatch printed on the ball band. 10 CM. 28M by 40R. I have no idea what that means. And I don't even know if you guys can see that. Because the print is an iridescent metallic print. Yeah. Oh, and I got a smudge of dirt on my finger from the box. That's okay. 10 grams, 50 meters. No colors, but we can obviously see what colors these are. These are so cute. And I got three of each color. So 50 meters, that's more than enough to make a whole bunch of Christmas ornaments. It's so cute. So fun. I've never worked with this kind of yarn before. That'll be really fun. And, okay, I'm saving this one for last. She sent me an airtight vacuum seal bag. Always great for under the bed storage, you know? This yarn reminded her and myself, in fact, of um, yarn that is made in Turkey and sold from ice yarns. And it reminds me of, it's not sparkly enough to be Paris, but it's shiny enough to be a rock star. If you're familiar with ice yarns, rock star, they come in small donuts like this eight to a pack and they're like 10 or 12 dollars a pack of yarn um, on the website i think they're like 12 or 13 dollars actually this one <coughs> excuse me she sent me six of them six beautiful donuts and even though it's pastel you know because her and i are not fond of pastels i will i will i'll work with this pastel purple beauty beautiness any day of the week Thank you very much. This is a four worsted weight. Nope. This is a three, three weight DK yarn. Excuse me. And it is Merino mist. And it feels so nice and heavenly. And seriously, the yarn is beautiful. It looks very serene and angelic. It's Rossetti yarns. Merino mist. Sixty percent viscose, twenty percent acrylic, twenty percent fine merino wool superwash, twenty percent 
superwash fine merino wool. It's another way to word it. 50 gram donuts, 1.75 ounces, 153 meters, 167 yards each. They also have knit and crochet gauge, uh, gauge, switch, um, gauge swatches, five to six stitches, one inch, U.S. size, five to seven, 3.75 to four millimeter hook, crochet, 3.5 to 4.5 single crochets, so just do four or five single crochets, one inch, U.S. size five dash U.S. seven, 3.75 to 4.5 millimeter hook. Hand wash dry flat. Three weight yarn. Do not iron. It does say that you can dry clean and use dry cleanable chemicals on this. Um, unless I spilt candle wax on this, I would never find a need to take this to the dry cleaners. I would just do a gentle cold wash. I would use my um, 16 quart dish drying tub. I keep that in my bathroom so that when I take um when I take my spun clothes out of the out of the spin tub dryer, I can put everything that's still dripping wet from the wash into my tub dryer quickly and I can get that started spinning and that way I'm not taking my clothes out of my ton out of my spin drub tire out of my spin drub tub hanging them up when I could be using that time I'm hanging clothes up for that tub to be working and drying more clothes. So that's why I keep the 16 quart washing tub in my bathroom. I keep it um, right above the toilet, above my cabinet, above my towel cabinet. And, the, and I use that to hand wash any crocheted garments in. Seriously, you crochet your knit and you hand wash items, please use a 16 quart tub if not bigger. Have one that's open and available and does have a designated spot for it because you will be using it frequently if you hand wash things. I'm sure you might have a tub already, but that's a good tip, I think. This yarn is so beautiful, and I can't wait to work with this. And if I wanted to, I could usually, I could actually use this on my kneading loom because it is a three-weight yarn. And three-weight yarns, and this is a chain spun too, by the way. I don't know if I showed it to you up close. Let me get my light. I'm just like yapping away. You can see that sheen in the yarn. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's chain spun. There we go. Very, very gorgeous. Chain spun yarns are actually really easy to work with. I will do a comparison video at some point. I would have done so already, but with everything going on, my stresses and my friend passing, it's been super hard to find motivation to get as much stuff done as you know. When you deal with the loss of a loved one, it's it's very difficult. Um, okay, I have one more yarn to show you guys, and then I have a whole bunch of more yarn-related stuff to show y'all. This She sent me two stains of some rainbow sparkly goodness. This is Rosetta Yarns. hold this up and try to read this. How do you pronounce this word? Alpaculants? Alpaculants? This is made in Turkey. It's 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 490 meters, 536 yards. Let me turn my lamp on again. Where did it go? So you can see the sparkles in it. Yay. Look at that. That is so gorgeous. Look at that sparkle in the red right there. Oh, it's so pretty. Very gorgeous. And it's very scarfable, as Crystal would say. Let's see if I can stand this up. Okay, so you guys can see the yarn much better. Oh, look at that sparkle. Look at that. So pretty. 76% acrylic, 9% wool, 9% alpaca, 6% glitter. 
Again, it, it is 100 gram skein, 3.5 ounces, 490 meters, 536 yards. She sent me two of them. Thank you so much, M. It is a super fine number one weight yarn, so there is no way in hell I will crochet with this. Like, honey child, I love the yarn, but it is a super fine number one. What were you thinking? But no, I love it. And it's super soft and it's super colorful. And I'm going to work this in. If I crochet with it, I'm going to work it in with a white or a cream colored yarn that's just as soft. I also have ba a baby weight yarn. It's a two weight yarn from Ice Yarns. And it is like literally 50% acrylic, 50% polyamide. So it is like, it's like heaven, heaven butter, butter soft yarn. It's like, like it's like slicing through butter. But the yarn is so dangerously soft. It was from heaven it should, and it should be illegal. Like it's that kind of soft. I think it would be great worked in with this. I can crochet something beautiful with that. Or if I, if I wanted to all by itself, this being a one weight yarn, I might be able to knit something with this on the knitting loom. Um, a gorgeous hat maybe. But I think a beautiful shawl would be perfect for this. Um, we'll see. And the last thing she sent me was from Italy. I wanted to say the very best for last. She sent me one skein. She caked this up for me. She took the time to cake this up for me. This is Bending Woolen Mills Bloom Bohemian is the color name. And when she said Bohemian, I'm just like, oh my God, it's Bohemian. Oh my God. Like, that's like me. Bohemian is like a word that describes me. In my opinion, look at these colors. This is, this is an eight ply yarn. Shade number 0168, dye lot 2008, 200 grams, 100% pure new wool, 22 stitches, forward slash 10 SCM, 4 millimeter needles. I believe a 4 millimeter crochet hook would be the, would be the minimum hook size to use because this 8 ply yarn is pretty much a 4 worsted weight yarn. I think so. It looks like a four weight to me. Gorgeous, gorgeous marled yarn. Made from Italy, made in Italy. Pure new wool. So this is obviously hand wash only. And I will wring it out in my tub spinner and lay it flat to dry. I'm going to use a special lace stitch that I love. Probably that double crochet, that double, um, the double crochet, double V stitch. That's one of my favorite stitches. And I might do a, sh a scarf or, or a shawl, a triangular shawl would, would be nice. Um, it's only 200 grams. It being a four weight yarn, I'm not really sure how many yards this would be. If you have any idea of how many yards 200 grams would be of a four weight yarn, please leave that in the comments below. I would super, super appreciate that and a big fat thank you if you do leave that comment and um, let us all know that, that that way other people that don't know will also be able to learn that too. The underside that of the tag has pretty much just washing instructions and it has a website um, bendigowoolenmills.com.au and it says, due to the nature of this yarn, all balls from the same dial out will not look identical. So there's the washing instructions and everything and the website right there. I'll try to leave that link in the description box below in case you want to check them out. I'm really curious to check them out too. So I'll leave that link in the, des in the description box for so you and I can have a reference. Um, and they don't come like this. She caked this up for me. Thank you so much, Em, seriously, for caking this up for me. Not just so gorgeous. This reminds me very much of Premier's Aurora yarn that I used. Um, I will be showing you guys here um, in my next video. I'm going to go ahead and cut this now because I'm already 44 minutes in. I have so much more in the box that she still, um, that I still have yet to show you guys. So I'm going to record another video. And I'm going to show you guys my finished objects. And this is the yarn that I used in one of my finished objects that looks kind of close to this colorway. So I'll be showing you guys that in the next video.
Um, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you all are having a great one. Bye-bye.